When the density of homes is above about 500 homes per square kilometer, that's five homes per hectare, or about two homes per acre, the economics of installing fiber infrastructure with a long-term payoff becomes interesting. Broadband to the home in areas without sufficient density of paying customers and without suitable existing cabling infrastructure is usually most cost-effectively delivered wirelessly. This is called fixed wireless or wireless broadband to the home or wireless home internet. Wireless broadband to the home means a wireless link between an antenna on a tower and an antenna fixed to the outside of the home, which is connected to and powered by a cable to an indoor device which provides Wi-Fi and physical LAN jacks in the home. For cost reasons, it would be ideal to provide both mobile internet to cell phone users and fixed wireless for broadband home internet from a single radio technology and a single set of towers and base stations. At present, the capacity of mobile LTE networks is such that download speeds fall far below broadband on weekend evenings when many people are watching video. And if you click on the video to the left, you can watch a commercial that Pac Bell, which is now part of the AT&T empire, was running to illustrate the problems when there's not enough capacity for a neighborhood. Laurel Lane used to be such a nice place to live. Um, everyone used to be friends in this neighborhood. But then everyone started sharing the internet. That's when things online got slower and started acting, well, downright unneighborly. Every day I come into this neighborhood, I don't know what to expect. I'm scared. We used to use this mace for dogs. Occasionally you get a situation like this with the overcrowding on the internet. People try to take the law into their own hands. You gotta get them to law and go up. That's the whole point. The thing is, is these aren't bad people. That's what breaks my heart. Oh, no, no, you're a web The internet is, once again, your friend. Due to licensing, spectrum cost, and regulations, the initial rollout of fixed wireless broadband internet to the home is as a standalone sectorized radio system. While the antennas would be typically on the same towers as the mobile network antennas, the fixed wireless system is not accessible by cell phones. The 3.5 gigahertz band, that's from 3350 to 3700 megahertz, allows the allotment of numerous channels 10 to 40 megahertz wide. Multiple input, multiple output antenna systems is used to increase the maximum bit rate available to users. A 40 MHz channel yields 200 megabits per second downloading, given a spectral efficiency of about 5 bits per second per hertz for LTE. In the initial rollout, LTE and its radio resource controller is used to share the capacity between subscribers in a given sector. Offering 25.1 service, that's 25 megabits per second downloading and 1 megabit per second uploading, allows the carrier to support between 100 and 150 users per sector, given that there's 10 gigabits per second backhaul for each multi-sector base station. While the 3.5 GHz band supports high-capacity air links, it requires line of sight between the antennas and is significantly affected by near-field interference, for example, trees growing in front of the antenna on a residence. This may require the antenna to be mounted on a mast on the roof of a residence, on a 15-meter tower, or mounted remotely with a backhaul to the residence. 
Broadband wireless will be deployed on additional spectrum, including the 3.7 gigahertz band. That's from 3,700 to 4,000 megahertz, which used to be part of the conventional or C band with its 20 to 100 megahertz wide channels and the 2.5 gigahertz band with 50 megahertz wide channels. All new builds will employ 5G technology to share the capacity between users in a neighborhood. With its massive MIMO and enhanced transmission modes, 5G new radio is 40% more efficient than LTE, which means 40% more bits per second per hertz. Along with more sophisticated customer antennas, this will in the future enable 5010, 50 megabits per second downloading, 10 megabits per second uploading, as a standard wireless broadband home internet service, particularly for areas not served by DSL, cable, or fiber to the home.